Hey guys, welcome back for another week. Uh, I got some fun tattoos to show you this week over at Sharky's Paradise, so. <laughs> One of the fun tattoos we did this week was a skeleton hand uh, holding a rose. Super fun tattoo, got to practice some good fundamentals on that and uh, had a good, really good time with it. Super nice client. Second tattoo we did this week was on a returning client, a friend of mine, Terry. Shout out, appreciate you stopping back in. He was a client that I originally started with whenever I started here at SP, whenever I was apprenticing. He was one of the first clients that I tattooed. So it's cool to see people still returning and it's cool to see my uh, art improve over time. Terry! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry I'm squirming so much, dude. You're doing fine, bro. You're doing fine. We did a Viking skull head on him with two cross axes in the center of his chest. Started out with it this big, made sure to blow it up and get it in the center of his chest, and uh, it wound up turning out to be a super fun piece to do. Badass tip. Don't be a fucking tip. Badass. Just keep it rolling, you cut it out. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Badass. Oh, is it hurt? I know it hurts. It hurts. It's okay, it's almost over. Look, it's almost over. Here we go. We gotta dab those edges. Look at you, look at you. Badass. Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back. We are gonna talk about my tattoos this week. So I did uh, finish a piece that I started on my husband, David. I have many husbands, I just shouldn't say my husband, David, right? Because <laughs> it's like, what did the name of the other husbands? It was amazing, it turned out really good. I loved just the style, practicing on animals. He cried a little bit, but we handled it. He loved it now, really bad. He like offers it to everybody, so I'm now like very unknown artist. As you can tell. I also did a lettering on the forearm. It's believe. I also did uh, when I was an apprentice the overcome in the other arm. But yeah, it's turned out pretty good. He's a very spiritual person. He just loved it. He he loved both of them tattoos, and it's just amazing finding people that just likes art like this. It's kind of simple, but you can tell it's really meaningful for certain people. So I did this mountain outline with a moon on top. He had a friend who drew that tattoo or that design. We changed a little bit, like put some stars, some like shooting star. We did change the little trees so they look like more nice and like detailed it. He loved it. I tried to do my best because he has more tattoos, like previous tattoos, that haven't been done by me. So it's also always like a challenge to be like another artist and someone else that has a lot of tattoos, you know. But yes, I loved it. He was super, super happy with it. I hope to see that tattoo healed and see how everything turns out. And then all the rock. All the intro, me boxing. <laughs> right. Point of view, your Chelsea setting up. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Chelsea, what do you got going on here? An ape smoking a whatever doobie. you. A doobie? Whatever. 
A cigar. A cigar. I do. I do. And uh, we're gonna do a little gray wash. Well, that's a mighty doobie. How does this make you feel, sir? Fucking great. That translates to fucking great. <laughs> My belt just broke open. <laughs> well, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, We Are One. This week, I really didn't do much. I went on vacation, but here's what I did do. So first this week, we started out with my boy, Jake. We did a couple of tattoos on him. You probably remember the river and the hook that we did a couple weeks ago. He came back for another one. This week, we did a fly fishing piece for his grandpa. And basically, it was just a quote that said, eventually all things merge and a river runs through it. What do you feel about this, Jake? He's part of the conversation, too. He's learning. Oh, are you teaching him things right now? Yeah. This yes. his young mind? This is why it's not the time. Yeah. <laughs> And then right after that, not even a couple hours later, I was all the way up in Winter Park, having a great time with my family, doing our family reunion. You know, we went out to see Shaka Khan and the rest of the Winter Park Jazz Fest. We did a lot of fishing, did a few puzzles, and you know, every time I gotta whip everybody in dominoes. What I do? We've got some landscaping work on the horizon. It's a day off today, Saturday. We're gonna plant all my flowers, and then we're gonna plant the grapevine and the hummingbird tree. We're also gonna mow the lawn and make our house look beautiful. So, finally getting through our landscaping projects. Super happy about that. I decided to go shopping for all the flowers. I had a client cancel on me, so mama drove the car, packed up the kids, went and got all the flowers and the plants out of the way and got them all picked out. I gotta say on that topic though, like I'm super thankful for you because uh, if it wasn't for her initiative to go just do that shit in the middle of the day on a weekday, it probably wouldn't get done. We're out here watering some plants today. Jessie looks like she's probably getting ready to uh, plant all these bad boys. Finally getting to the point where we're done. It was a group effort, family affair. We've always wanted to do like some grapevine of some kind, so. I got a grapevine that's good. It's gonna grow over our arch. It looks really pretty. Also got like a hummingbird tree. It grows these beautiful flowers that attracts hummingbirds. Oh, it's a drop more scarlet trumpet honeysuckle tree. And what do we have here? This is the grapevine. It's gonna grow our grape. It's gonna be growing up and over this little trellis here. This is our garden here. And then this is the bridge. This bridge I found off Facebook for free. Gotta love Marketplace. <laughs> I rallied up the team at the shop to come help move it. Shout out to Sharky, Christian, and Strange Zane. Or no, I guess that would be Plain Zane. <laughs> yep. He likes to donate his time to us, so I really appreciate that. Let's try it out. Yep, made it across, no problem. Yeah, so I was super smart and I thought ahead and I plumbed the sprinkler system into the beds so that way when it turned on, it would water the beds and do all that. And one of those beds is working. So you drive by our house and one side of the planters, it looks really good. I'm getting out there and watering with the hose. It's actually looking good. But the other side's being like really well taken care of with the drip system. So. One side's like blooming beautifully and the other one's blooming, just not as beautiful. But it we've looks great. We've got one that's alive it? and we've got it one that's good. thriving. Yeah, One good. surviving and one thriving. This stuff here, it sucks. All this sod right here is dying. Because the sprinkler system was broken and I had to fix it. We did really good. I'll get it figured out. But I'm a tattoo artist, not a fucking landscaper. Basically our mission today is 
we have uh, a little bit of yard work to do. And then later on tonight, <clears throat> we're gonna be going down to Denver for the Fight to Win promotion. Cliff was uh, in a fight camp with his homeboy Tarzan, his teammate at Easton for Jiu Jitsu. Go Cam, shout out Easton. Uh, we're gonna be down there tonight, so we got ourselves a table, second row VIP. Cliff, you got anything you wanna say? Well, I just hope Cameron rocks it, and yeah. How'd you feel about being a part of this fight camp? Exhausting, but awesome.